are still sitting here. Yes. Can Rudy sit by you? Or, and John? Okay. John will not be here. Because he can get a good picture. <laughs> and I can move, too. I just need to...
that. Good evening and welcome to everyone who is here in person. Welcome to those who are joining us on KPTZ or through our website to watch a live video of this performance tonight. I just found out today that I can say Alexa, play KPTZ and she will. So that's kind of cool. Um, my name is Tony Brown. I'm the pastor here at uh, Trinity United Methodist Church where I've been for uh, almost 10 years now. And I uh, would invite all of you all, anybody who's listening, to come and hear our wonderful music on Sunday morning, our beautiful pipe organ, and uh, meet me and my family, my husband and my two girls, and just glad that you have joined and tuned in tonight, and that you're here in person. For those of you who are here, a very warm welcome, and uh, I want to thank the Candlelight concert crew, John and Beth and Matt, and Ron also, uh, for all you do to make this possible. And I'll turn it over to them. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We are delighted to have you, as we are also delighted to have David Michael and Gwen, Gwen Franz today with us. Um, just a couple of housekeeping items. If you are here in person, We've got three lovely new bathrooms that direction. Feel free to try each one of them out to see which one you like best. Enjoy, have at it. Um, and we have an elevator, but it is working. Okay, allegedly working. So I'd be real careful about going down the elevator. So, okay, it's working. No, the bathrooms are just right out here. So, yeah. It's, the elevator is a very long, funny story, which we don't need to get into, but. Um, uh, I wanted to thank our friends at KPTZ who are also co-presenting with us. We really appreciate the effort that they make in getting the, um, the news out about our performers and joining us for this hour of music. Uh, David wanted me to know also, if you are not in person, and you would like to buy some CDs or listen to his music, uh, you can go to our, for free, not the CDs, but listen to the music for free. You can go to um, Trinity United Methodist website, scroll down to Candlelight Concerts. Once you're in there, scroll down to him. And there is a link, you just, it's kind of buried, but it is there if you would like to listen to his music. And after the concert this evening, he's going to be um, selling some of his CDs and his book, if you're interested. Um, part of the wonderful thing about Candlelight Concert is our musicians get to choose a local charity that they'd like to donate, the, any, um, half of the donations that come in tonight. And um, he has chosen the Jefferson Food Bank. And I think probably most everybody that's listening or is here has known what the food bank is. You know, they provide food, they provide diapers, um, feminine products, deodorant, to people that are in need. And we tend to think of that as, oh, those are the people that are down on their luck or maybe that are homeless. But you know what? The people that are util utilizing that food bank are your barista and your nurse and your housekeeper, et cetera, et cetera. Or it could be anybody here in this audience. So I would encourage you to give generously or to donate to them directly. They take lots of different food items, so please consider that. Uh, I would love to have you welcome uh, David Michael and Gwen Franz. It's gonna be a little lovely evening. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna uh, start with a couple of solo harp pieces and then I'll bring Gwen up here. Thank you. 
Thank you. That's a, a kind of short version of Heart of the Harp, a title piece from a, a solo harp album that I put out some years ago. And of course, this is a Celtic harp, and these date back something like a thousand years. And this is a Neo-Celtic harp. And these little doodads here that you see me flipping on the side are sharpening levers. The grand concert harps that you see, the modern harps have foot pedals for changing keys, but I'm not stuck in one key. I just have to uh, flip levers here. So, um, so I created this album Skyburst uh, during the pandemic and um, I spent six weeks um, house sitting, uh, taking care of a couple of cats up on a little mountaintop last winter, uh, this uh, last year in the winter over in Winthrop. And it was a beautiful sunny day in early March and I could hear icicles sliding off the roof and falling. Icicles were melting all around me. And uh, I made up this piece, I call it um, um, Icicles Melting. <laughs> <laughs>
This is Gwen Franz. And she plays on a number of pieces on Skyburst. When I met her, she was principally playing viola. And uh, she has taught herself to play the cello during the pandemic. I mean, we all had to have a project, right? During <laughs> all the solitude and so forth. It was the cello and a puppy that was <laughs> all consuming. Uh, do you want to check your tune? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play the title piece from the new Skyburst.
And here's one on a slightly brighter note called All in All. was spent during the pandemic being at home. And um, <laughs> this piece is called Being Home. <laughs> and it was uh, early on in the pandemic. And uh, it was just like, hmm, this is a, things are different now. This is uh, interesting. And um, so this, this came out.
Uh, Gwen's going to switch to viola now. And uh, while she's doing that, I'll tell you a brief story how I met Gwen. Um, back in the days when I used to uh, play my harp on the ferry boat out here for a lot of years, there were sometimes a mean captain. It, it was a, a, a captain's discretion long before the days when the state threw me off for reasons of homeland security. But that's another story. But um, it was a captain's discretion, and certain mean captains would, wouldn't let me play. So then I would drive down to Bainbridge and, and go busking on the big boats into Seattle. And it would happen quite a lot that, um, you know, people would walk up, hey, man, can I, can I jam with you? I was like, no, you probably can't handle this Charakeshi scale I'm about to go into. And I haven't heard you play. No, no, I'm kind of a solo act here. But Gwen walks up one day and says, can I sit in with you? And, I, and she was um, on her way to a gig with the Seattle Symphony Orchestra. And Long black. I kind of got the vibe that she you know, knew what she was doing there. <laughs> so I said, sure, I'll whip it out. <laughs> and she got out the viola, and we played in a kind of a gypsy minor scale, uh, a, a little bit like what we're about to play here. And um, got a big crowd, and they come over, which CD is that one on? <laughs> <laughs> no, hello, my name's David, my name's Gwen. It's like, really, really? Anyway, so, um, yeah, Eddie, I said, you want some of these tips? We got a lot of tips. No, 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 no. I said, well, here, take some CDs. You give and, me way too much credit. <laughs> well, no, she, she knocked him dead. Man. But anyway, um, so uh, that was that. And then years later, she calls me up. Um, she was living in Bainbridge and uh, said, I'm really get, wanting to get into improv more. You want to get together? And I said, yeah. And I'm working on this album called Chantilly May with my wife's compositions. And we needed some violin and viola. And, do you do session work? Sure. So anyway, we've been, we've been sort of collaborating on and off since then. And uh, now she lives here for the last five years, I guess, in Port Townsend. So that makes it kind of easy to get together. <laughs> the pandemic didn't make it easy, but no. uh, now we, you know, lately we've been getting together. And so that's anyway, but this piece um, just called The Day After has a bit of an Eastern European feel to it. And I would like to um, play this as a tribute to the people of Ukraine who are going through so much right now. So I'd like to dedicate it there the day after.
Thank you. We are going to lighten it up a little bit now. Uh, I need to tune a few strings. A couple of these um, sharpen levers go, aren't true when I um, change them. But anyway. explore this more and so that led me eventually to fiddle tunes up here and I thought wow how do people play so much music with no sheet music in sight they just pick all this stuff up by ear so that led to some more lessons with a, a fiddle master in Portland named Daryl Langer and just learning and you know the first 10 years are the hardest right <laughs> but um yeah, I just feel like it's it's something every musician should get to learn how to do. And David's a um, a really fun one to get to play with. This next one is called, um, what's it called? Falling, Falling Leaves. Falling Leaves. <laughs> kind of um, out of season a little bit, but it's a, it's a joyful piece. They're falling in South America. That's right. It's, a, it's autumn somewhere.
back on cello and this is a piece called Anew, which I wrote on New Year's Eve. Um, not this last one, but the one before. So another one um, coming out of the pandemic in the <laughs> middle of the dark, dark time of year. Um, don't know what to say about it beyond that, but uh, Anew. pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, this is a piece called Sea Star. 
from the uh, Confluence album. And it goes something like this. One of my favorite places is the Methow Valley. And for those of you who don't know where that is, if you take Highway 20, well, from here, take the ferry across, keep going on Highway 20, cross the Cascades, and when you drop down on the east side, you're in the Methow Valley. And um, I've spent a lot of time over there, Winthrop, Twisp, uh, Mazama area. And one year, I was staying at the Sun Mountain Lodge, which is sort of a world-class cross-country skiing area, and they have a beautiful lodge. And I was sitting in the lobby playing my harp, and it was snowing outside. And I came up with this um, 
melody that I call Methow Reverie.
and now it's time for a jig. <laughs> uh, no, really. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is a piece I wrote on the ferry boat. Um, you know, during back in the day, sometimes uh, we'd see whales out there riding out here on the ferry over to Keystone. They call it Coopville now. I, have, I made this CD called Keystone Passage, which is a lot of the pieces I used to play on the ferry boat. And after they threw me off, it was like right after they threw me off, they changed the name from Keystone to Coopville. And I was convinced that was a, a plot to keep me from ever selling another Keystone Passage CD the rest of my life. But, you know, Coopville Passage doesn't quite, you know, doesn't have the right ring to it. But anyway, um, this is for the good old days when, um, you know, I, I always tell people that this piece attracted the whales and, and, and that if they, you know, when they heard this piece, the, the orcas would come swimming over and people would, yeah, like roll their eyes. But like once every 500 times would work, right, on cue. <laughs> and people were like, how would you do that? <laughs> but um, anyway, so this is Festival of the Orcas for the good old days. Okay, well, we have um, one more number to do for you tonight. And thank you all for coming and supporting live music again in Port Townsend and the Food Bank. And um, Food Bank's a wonderful organization. And right now, they are looking for somebody to help with um, making um, lunches for the workers uh, every other week. My wife, Dari, um, she, she does that. And her, uh, her cohort is off to Europe and leaving her uh, <laughs> all by herself. She needs a hand. So uh, uh, you can get a hold of the uh, Jefferson County Food Bank if you're interested in volunteering. It's a wonderful organization. And um, do come visit the, um, the table out there if you're not so young that you don't know what a CD is or have a machine that can play it. And I, and I know cars and computers don't have them anymore. You know, I've got, a, I've got a whole closet full of CDs gathering dust doing nobody any, any good. And I'm very easy about, um, you know, accepting donations for whatever you'd like to afford. If you like the music and if you own a CD player, really, you know, um, 
because you know streaming destroyed the industry. Uh, you no, know, really. It, if you listen on Spotify, it's like .005 of a penny or something like that for each stream. So I figured, what the heck? If you go to my website, you can stream for free, and it's not MP3s, it's CD quality. So I figured, what the heck? If Why send people to Spotify? Just, just go to my website, davidmichaelharp.com, and you can um, check out my music there. And check it out at the table after the show, if you're, uh, if you're interested. And Gwen plays on the new one, Skyburst, and on a couple others that I have, too. <clears throat> so this is the title song from a, an album I made with the late Randy Mead, who was a flute player, who was my music partner for 40 years. And he um, is not with us anymore. And 10 years ago, he um, was going for a walk one day and had a massive coronary, coronary event and fell down in died almost instantly, and um, Randy. Anyway, um, this was an album we made together, um, and Gwen does a beautiful job with it. Uh, Courtship of the Moon. I don't know how you could get much more of a romantic theme than courting the moon, right? <laughs>
Okay, well, let's see. We have something else on from Skyburst. We can play for you. This is called Hope Rising. much for joining us this evening that was incredible you guys thank you thank you so much um, next month uh, May 26 we also are going to have string instruments but it's going to be a fiddle and a banjo country music with Jerry Canote and Bobby Nichols so I uh, invite you to come back listen to that incredible concert thank you so much for joining us thank you John Ron Matt and uh, thank you for KPTZ also. Uh, God bless and be safe. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.